Hello, hello. So today uh, in Akitsu, we will uh, show you how to uh, use the mannequin from Unreal Engine 4 to make your own animations on it and add them to uh, the default mannequin available uh, within Unreal. So uh, first of all, you'll need to uh, create <laughs> yes, so funny animation like this. So um, the only thing we won't cover here is uh, how to create a super gorgeous animation. I will make one, but pretty simple. So, first of all, we need to uh, locate the default mannequin in uh, your Unreal Engine project. So, basically, it should be in the content browser, mannequin, then a character, and here you have the mesh folder. In the mesh folder, you can select the sk underscore mannequin, okay, right click on it, do a um, asset action export, okay. So here, um, what you will do is simply uh, export the uh, mannequin somewhere in your hard drive. So here I've made a, a dedicated folder to uh, edit uh, on this. Simply uh, save your mannequin, okay, for the right. And then I'm only using uh, these um, parameters. Um, you are not forced to use uh, the LOD uh, export, but uh, be sure to check the fourth X axis if you want to be sure uh, it will uh, work properly. So here, once you've exported the mannequin, you will switch uh, to Akitsu, okay, and import the mannequin. So um, this should be in this folder, right? Fine, so once you've imported your mannequin, you can notice easily that the, the mannequin is not facing the good direction. So the first thing you want to do will be to um, delete the default character node, of course, and um, select all of the joints, track, hit the compensate scale button. This will be uh, really useful later when we will make um, some animation using the reverse foots and the eye care. Um, so now go in bind pose here, um, select the character node, so the SK mannequin, turn off the pivot editing mode, activate the discrete rotate. So if you want to check, your discrete should be at uh, 45 degree, like this. Let's just rotate this. Um, like so. Okay, if you look at the transform window here, you can see that the uh, Y uh, transform goes to zero and it's good. So we, we only need to uh, fix this last one and to adjust uh, our mannequin since he is facing in the good direction, we will need, need to reset the, the X value. But to do this, uh, we will need to be in pivot mode again. So if you click on pivot mode in the bind pose while uh, having the SK mannequin selected, you can see that the uh, spinner goes uh, grayed out, so you can't move anything, but the transform is still usable. So you can go over it and uh, transform this to zero. This will reset completely the SK mannequin. Once you've done that, um, you will create um, eye case for uh, your character and th they will be useful later. So select the upper part of your arm, so upper arm, then the hand, create an IK and hit mirror controller. Then do the same for the leg, so click on the knee, then click on the tiptoe here and create a reverse foot. Same as for the IK, mirror it. Okay, once that's done, you can duplicate hierarchy, name this one um, anim, so we will work on this mannequin, and this one you can completely hide it. Okay, so on the remaining one, we will um, remove eye case and reverse foots, and we will uh, adjust a few uh, things. So, first thing we want to do uh, is extract the mesh. Okay, and just um, reset its transforms, so it's quite better. Um, this should not uh, lead to any uh, issues, but I prefer to having uh, things clean. So 
In painting check, you select the SK mannequin unskinned and skin mesh. You hit that button. Okay. So this will basically replace the old one with the perfect one. So once we've done that, uh, we'll go in the bind pose here. Display the skeleton. Okay, and we will unparent the clavicles. So select both clavicles and hit unparent here. Okay. Um, then you will select uh, this joint with the right click, so it will select the full column plus the pelvis. Hit uh, the numpad uh, six. Okay, and reorient your joints. So there will be uh, a kitsu um, oriented. Okay, um, then we'll need to adjust a few of these joints. So. This one should be more uh, like this, okay? So you should keep the same direction of your axis. So this one is flipped. Track. This one is flipped too. And, okay. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, so this is fine. Now you can select back your uh, clavicles, repair on them to the torso like so, and uh, we will uh, flip um, the axis, so it will be uh, Akitsu uh, friendly. So to do so, you will select half of the character using this command or this one, you choose which one you prefer, and we will hit the um, mirror transform button. So if we look close at our pivot here, we can see that they have uh, flipped uh, at uh, 180 degree in the X axis. So now our mannequin is ready to be used um, by Akitsu. We will need uh, then to create um, IK like this, mirror it. Do the same for the leg, but make a reverse foot, of course, mirror it. Then you can hide the skeleton and periods, and you are uh, ready to go in animation mode. Okay, so we have two different animations. Uh, so now I can show back the SK mannequin. Uh, so show hierarchy. Okay, cool. And uh, what I will do is um, make a little retarget of uh, the anim to the SK mannequin. So let's go. Anim over SK mannequin. Boom. So you retarget. Okay. Now if I go on the SK mannequin, I've got my two animations. And if I pick both, I can see no difference at all between two mannequins. But and there is one of them who still have the Unreal um, rotates. So it's Unreal compatible. So once we've done that, maybe earlier if you're a wise guy, um, you save your scene somewhere. Okay, it's super important. Uh, so let's save this um, here. My anim set. Okay, so if you are making a sword anim set or something like this, name it as you want. And then once you um, once you've made your um, your backup, you can uh, delete the unwanted uh, mannequin to the SK mannequin and him up. You can remove it. Then make an export. Um, use only these options. So export it as SK mannequin. Cool. And then you will close without saving. Or hit a little Ctrl Z so you can retrieve your SK mannequin and him. Okay, and you can, if you want, you can uh, move the SK mannequin anim away so you can animate on this guy and retarget and see animations performing on this one. It's up to you. So once you've done your uh, work, 
you will need to um, re-import your uh, character. So go in a folder where you don't have uh, the SK mannequin, okay? Because it it may um, fail to re-import it. If if Unreal detects uh, the mannequin is uh, already here, it, it won't be imported. So here you will import the SK mannequin, like so. But here it will specify that you want to use the SK mannequin skeleton, which is here UE4 mannequin skeleton. Okay, once it's selected, it's cool. You can also assign the SK mannequin physical asset if you want. Then, um, so I show you the parameters I have, so you can uh, copy them if you want. Okay. Okay, and the most important option is here. Don't use fourth font X access. Okay, then you import. Okay, the error message is not uh, really important. And then you will have these two animations. These animations will add to the list of already um, made animations for the mannequin. Okay, so you can see these. You can see also the dance walk I've made uh, earlier, but it's a really simple uh, animation made on the same uh, ID of using the cycle step to, to create your animation. So here you can view your new animations, they belong to the mannequin. You can, uh, if you want, remove this guy, he is useful, uh, useless, sorry, and then move your animations to the animation folder here, if needed. But if you don't want uh, to add your animation to the animation folder, like maybe you want to make your own animation uh, pack, you can create a new folder and put them in uh, in this pack. It's it's okay. Um, here, if you want, also you can rename your animation. It's cool. And if you want to preview uh, what you've made, um, but in your reel, um, what you will need to do is uh, set your viewport to be uh, in simulate mode, not in standalone game. It's, it's easier to just preview your asset. Um, and then you simply drag and drop your animations. And best, even best, if you start up the, the, the simulate, okay, and you can simply drag and drop your animations while it's simulating. So the Unreal Man can just uh, fits perfectly to um, to Unreal and it's it's cool. You've synced your, um, your animations. So that's it for the interoperability between Akitsu and Unreal. I hope you enjoyed that and you will make awesome animations and this super cool mannequin. See you. Bye bye.